Hi, my name is Deputy Chief Greg Daly with the Avon Police Department. I'm Kevin Cromer with the Eagle County Sheriff's Office. My name is Justin Dill. I'm a patrol sergeant. I'm the sheriff for Eagle County, Colorado. And I'm the fire chief for the Gypsum Fire Protection District. Welcome to beautiful Eagle County, Colorado. And we've got a lot of people in town here at the moment for the Alpine World Ski Championships 2015. A lot of people from within the United States and then a lot of international visitors. We are very proud of the planning and training we've put into this event and how it's been going so far. We have several federal agencies, several state agencies, and all prepared and all in place to take care of whatever contingencies could arise or may arise. Our main priority is the safety of the crowd and the athletes. During this event, we've been doing a, a test using the new Sonom XP7 device. One thing that we notice up here because it's often cold is that it tends to drain battery life fairly quickly and we haven't seen that as much with these. If you can get through a full 24 hour shift for the battery, that is key. They're incredibly durable. You automatically feel that it's a, it's a sturdy, solid, piece of equipment. It comes, as I understand, with a three year warranty. That's huge. And we've gone through every phone manufacturer with a variety of different boxes and cases with them. Uh, we've taken on the challenge of trying to break them. Police are fairly destructive in nature. As a fire chief, it's always frustrating when your employees are losing them, breaking them, smashing them, getting them wet. I've run my own personal phone over with a ladder truck before. Everyone's had some fun actually tossing it down the hall. <laughs> so we, uh, we can't exactly, uh, we haven't had the ability to break them quite yet. So today as part of our demo program, we're using the Sonom XP7. So it's been a great backdrop here with a real live international event um, that we're able to use the, the mobile broadband for public safety spectrum, pull up a device like this, and then get the apps. Our operators are able to just pick it up and be able to, within a couple of minutes, understand the, you know, the basic technology on it. It's fairly intuitive and jumping from one system to another, it was just a matter of a couple minutes and I really felt reasonably comfortable on, on operating the device. And we can have groups set up and so you can have a SWAT group, you can have a police group, a fire group. Um, today we actually are using what's called an LMR group which is land mobile radio and we have a cross patch built into it so people that are on the radio system are actually hearing it on their phones and they're connected that way. This also allows us to use some maps and see where people are out in the field. Um, and one of the cool things I like to play in with today is that I can capture people within an area on the map and I can talk to just those people. So if I have something going on in just one area, I don't have to try to figure out who it is. I can just say, everyone here, here's your message. The ability to share uh, data, photos, uh, video amongst each other or to the, the command post and for these two weeks is also a huge benefit for us. Sometimes what we're trying to do is make sure that all of our responders can talk together but also not be uh, burdened with three or four communication devices. The, the fewer things we can have and the more weight we can take off of our, our exterior makes us obviously more effective and agile. We're now on day 10 and it's gone extremely well, but a key aspect of making this event successful has been the technology. As events have become bigger and more complex, the technology aspect of it has become more and more crucial. We are up here in the mountains of Colorado and our cell towers and our radio towers uh, at times can be patchy. Even on a regular snow powder day, I mean, we can, we can increase and have uh, upwards of 20,000 people in a concentrated area. And when they start all using their devices, all their communications issues and so on, it can tie up our system. It causes challenges to the overall safety of the individuals that uh, are attending the event. It's as part of a plan, either on a direct talk to each other, or if some of the other uh, technology goes down, like the radios or the cell phones, we've had this as a backup because it's on a separate network, uh, a network that was installed here specifically for these uh, championships. Uh, the LTE network that's being put up here by, uh, by General Dynamics and its partners is uh, obviously covering a, a important, dense, but relatively small area. All of the cameras, all of the devices, everything that's happening for crowd control, this one little B is, is handling all of that traffic. We're very lucky to have this LTE pilot network here in Vail because one thing that our land mobile radio system does very well 
is to transport voice traffic for our first responders, uh, but it's not equipped to handle data. We've had responders out using the system. They are using it to communicate with each other, um, pass information back and forth, photos, video, um, and other just maps and general information that's you know, crucial to what they need to do. And obviously having a dedicated public safety data network is a huge benefit to the first responders here. I'm always excited for technology. That's why I do what I do, because I love, I love playing with technology, seeing what we can do, um, pushing the limits, and trying new things. So I'm all about that. We've only really touched the surface of what's available uh, through this technology, but from a practical perspective, uh, it's been good for my teams that are in the field, communicating with uh, the uh, SWAT command uh, areas to be able to have uh, definitive and clear communication with each other. So as far as a device, um, I think this is kind of what we're looking for to make it a, an actual useful tool, um, just like all the other equipment that we expect to perform for us. The quality, uh, the sound, uh, the picture quality, uh, and just overall capability is just, it's a, it's a very useful and, uh, and handy uh, device or a tool to be able to use without a, without a doubt. So it's been a wonderful time here at the event and we're going to keep on playing.